Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is Friday, March 23rd. The start of the MLB regular season is right around the corner, and we are continuing our uh, previews of MLB teams team by team with Doug Upstone that we've been uh, doing for a while now. Doug Upstone, of course, does extensive research before the regular season, uh, every Major League Baseball season, including attending actual spring training games. Uh, right now, we're going to take a look at uh, the Dodgers, the Rangers, the Reds, and the Yankees. Uh, Doug Upstone, how is your, uh, uh, your in-person analysis of uh, various uh, MLB teams in spring training games from going this year? Well, I, well, like usual, I enjoy it quite a bit. And uh, unfortunately for the Dodgers, though, I did see Justin Turner get hit on the mm. wrist in the first inning on Monday night's game. And uh, the way he went down, you knew it was trouble. Uh, yep. And ended up later that night, it was reported that uh, he had broken his wrist. So that certainly is not going to help the Dodgers to start the season, Peter. Right. Of course, uh, when you're taking a look at uh, – at, um at uh, season win totals, injuries most usually to pitchers, but uh, but but of course also to uh, to uh, position players uh, are usually actually the main factor in uh, whether a uh, or, or can't I wouldn't say they're the main factor, but they're they're one of the most important factors. Any factor that's more important than the health of a team to uh, to whether or not they cash a season win total, Doug, in your opinion? Yeah, I I, I can't think of anything because that's usually you know the deciding factor when teams typically you know have uh, go up or go down. You know that's usually as to what it is. Uh, very rarely is it like a complete total, perf uh, let's say a team doesn't play well right. entirely as a team, or, you know, do you get the situation where everybody does really well? Because if usually right. everybody does really well, that means they were healthy. All right, so the market is definitely expecting a pretty significant regression from the Dodgers. Last year, of course, an awesome year. They won 104 games. The season win total right now at Pinnacle is set at 97 and very heavily juiced to the under. It's at 97, under minus 169, over plus 141. So obviously uh, the market expecting a uh, you know a, almost a 10-game uh, regression for the L.A. Dodgers coming up this year. What are you expecting, Doug Upstone? Yeah, you know, in this one, the Dodgers, you know, the Justin Turner injury, I think, does matter. I mean, it's supposed to be two months. He was their best hitter last year, right in the heart of the lineup. So you're taking that guy out. Now, they have plenty of talent to, let's just say, circumvent that. And you also have Corey Bellinger will be there a whole season. Corey Seager, the shortstop, still a young guy. So there's ways to, to balance that out. But here's my concern, Peter, about the Dodgers and especially the win total. I think they win the division. They're certainly a contender to get back to the World Series. But in terms of that win total, uh, Clayton Kershaw, the last two years, has been out with back injuries, okay, for a significant amount of time. He's 30 years old. He's he's the best. He has been the best pitcher in baseball. He will continue to be. But I just wonder about that. And you look at the rest of that rotation. You know, there's a reason that they picked up Hugh Darvish last year. Now, he wasn't great in the World Series. Nonetheless, I mean, he's he was a valuable asset for them. And I just don't think that they have enough starting pitching, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, to, to make it all the way through in a pretty competitive division. So myself, you talk at that 97, I like the under on the mm -hmm. 97, not, not saying way down, but 94, 95 wins sounds about right for me for the Dodgers. Yeah, under 97 right now. The line at Pinnacle is, uh, again, uh, heavily juiced. It's now down to, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, minus 169. And, yeah, I think you might be right there. I mean, so many things can happen to a team over the course of a season that can uh, that can prevent them from winning almost 100 games. So, And if you don't have a, a rock-solid, uh, reliable, deep starting pitching, probably it's a better bet to take an under on a season win total that high than on the over. But we'll see how things turn out for the Dodgers right now. Uh, the t again, the season win total under 97 minus 169 would be uh, Doug Upstone's recommended bet right now. Let's move on to uh, the Texas Rangers. They had a subpar year last year, 178 games. Market expecting roughly the same from them this year. The season win total right now, 77 at Pinnacle. The under is minus 124. Over is plus 104. You expecting more mediocrity from uh, Texas this year or maybe a little bit of, a, of an improvement over what the market's expecting? No, oh, I'm thinking more mediocrity, mm -hmm. Peter. Uh, this team, is term in terms of a division contender, those days are gone. they got a couple of veteran players who have some miles on them. If, if they don't have at least average years compared to their uh, history, I think they'll, be, they'll sink even further. I can see this team definitely losing 90 games this year. Cole Hamels is 34. He's not the pitcher that he used to be. I'm expecting him to be traded at some point during the season, uh, you know, probably to a contender that wants a veteran pitcher. You look at the rest of their starting rotation. So you got Hamels, you got Martin Perez, uh, Matt Moore, Doug Fister, and Mike Miner. 
Mm. Wow. Oh. I saw I saw Doug Fister the other day. He was terrific. If he was a batting, pre, uh, batting practice pitcher, <laughs> gave up seven runs, ten hits to the White Sox in an in, in two and a third innings. He was horrible. I expect that to be the case with him. I think this team. You got Joey Gallo, who's their key power here. He had a he had 41 home runs last year. He had 196 strikeouts. I think that w- with him, he's a typical hitter of what they have on this team. I think this team loses 90 games, and they're an easy underplay. Wow. Okay. Under 77 right now, the minus 124. And yeah, when you ran down that uh, list of starting pitchers, I have a way of thinking about baseball where I have some starting pitchers sometimes on an auto fade list in my head. And a bunch of those starting pitchers, even Cole Hamels at times, uh, you know, have been on a, those are some names I recognize from the auto fade list in my head of years past. Doug Upstone looking at the under 77 wins for uh, Texas. Now let's move on to a Cincinnati. The market expecting a little bit of an improvement from Cincinnati, expecting a worse season by Cincinnati than by uh, than from Texas, but a better year from Cincinnati relative to what they did last year. Of course, last year, last in the NL Central by a mile. They won 68 games. Right now, Pinnacle has their uh, season win total set at 73 and a half, juice to the over at minus 136. The under is plus 114. How much of an improvement are you expecting from Cincinnati, uh, Doug? I'm expecting, I, I agree completely with the odds makers on this one. You know, Cincinnati has won 68 games each of the last two years. They finished in, in last place in the Central Division the last three years. And consider their history. The last time before this stretch, they finished last in the division, 1983. So this is what Red fans are not used to seeing this poor of a team. However, I look at this, you know, even though they finished 29th in ERA in baseball last year, I saw things at the end of last season from their young starting pitchers that I really like. Uh, I think this team will, their pitching, it's certainly not going to be great, Peter, but it's going to be improved. Uh, so I think there's going to be some progression. They have some really good uh, young arms uh, in the farm system and, you know, with, with the with the big club. You know, we know Joey Votto's going to do his thing. Uh, he's going to, you know, he's not going to hit a lot of home runs. He's going to walk more than what people care to have him do. But you know what? The guy puts up numbers each and every year. Uh, the, I like their outfield, actually. Uh, you got uh, Adam Duvall, Billy Hunter, and Scott Shevler. I think they're going to get s- some good run production out there. They're a little bit weak in the infield. I think they have a chance to be an overplay. I'm not mm-hmm. saying it would be a strong play by any stretch, but I think the 74 or 73, which you said, I think they have an opportunity to surpass that, especially with Pittsburgh coming down as far as they are this uh, upcoming season. All right. So the market right now, again, has them at 73 and a half. The over is minus 136. The under is plus 114. If we gave you a free bet on that one, Doug Upstone, what would you take? I am the free pick, Peter. Peter I am taking over. Over 73 and a half at minus 136. All right, Doug up. So now let's move on to uh, the New York Yankees. Always an interesting team. You know, uh, when the Yankees are good, they can often get overvalued. They are one of these teams that uh, when they have a good version of their team, we can see them at, you know, minus 250 game in and game out, even sometimes regardless of the starting pitcher. Last year, a good year for the Yankees. They won on 91 games. And this year, the market expecting a better uh, performance from them. Season win total right now at Pinnacle is set at 90. 93 and a half heavily juiced to the over minus 148 to the over at 93 and a half and the under is at plus 124 the market expecting a better year from the Yankees this year than last year and that makes me think maybe they will but maybe they'll be overvalued on their money lines at least to start off the season what's your take on the Yankees this year Doug Upstone well first of all I didn't go see the Yankees because they're playing in Florida so let's get that out of the way okay I just added the Yankees, Peter, just for you because of the hat. So oh, I don't give a shit about the Yankees, Doug up. So now, I, I wear this because I'm this, from New York, uh, the baby. The Yankees, you know, there's, as we know, there's a lot of hype. And to your point, I think the Yankees, uh, what you just said about money lines, I think the Yankees are back and they're going to be 15 to 20 cents almost on a nightly basis overpriced uh-huh. because they're the Yankees. Yes. One thing, for example, MLB.com, the website, 30% of the people that go to that website are Yankees fans. Think about that for a second. Oh, man. So so with that in mind, this team is loaded, Peter. There's nothing here not to like. That that lineup, their everyday lineup, is going to be absolutely fantastic. There's going to be stretches of games where they are just going to crush opposing pitching no matter who they're going to play. Uh, the, the You know, last year you got 14 wins out of CC Sabathia. He'll be 38 this year. That's not going to happen again. However, Sonny Gray can step up, and I think he will, to offset that the the you know the uh, fewer victories that he'll participate uh, he'll participate in. 
The bullpen's loaded. It's stacked. They got everything. The only question to me, Peter, is Boone the right manager for this team? I don't know that it matters in the regular season, to be perfectly honest, as, as much talent as they have. I don't think we'll know that till the postseason. But that's my only question. I think this team is a definite over. Hmm. All right. So we'll see. They could easily they could easily be a good bet on the over on their season win totals, but uh, bet get very quickly overvalued uh, on their money lines day in and day out during the regular season. So right now, Doug Upstone, if we gave you a free bet, you would take the over ninety three and a half wins at minus one forty eight. I've already done it, Peter. I don't even need a free bet. I really? Already bet it. You already bet that yes, one. Sir. You bet it early. Then you probably got a better line than that, right? Uh, no, actually, it was ninety four when I got. Oh, okay. It. So, and that was uh, early March. Well, but, uh, now. But nonetheless, it's it's hanging right there. I, I I see them winning 97, 98 games, no problem. Okay, well, if you got 94 minus 110, that probably does count as a better line than 93 and a half at uh, minus 148. Pinnacle, again, juicing this True. over uh, pretty significantly. Doug Upson, I love hearing your analysis of MLB teams before every MLB season. Hope to talk again very soon. That sounds great, Peter. Thank you very much. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.